morning, everyone. This is Austin from Raw Bliss. Oh my gosh, the electricity has been out all day. It's like 10 a.m. now. Went to the beach, the park, the beach, whatever you want to call it. Uh, did lots of push-ups, incline push-ups. Uh, I, I switched up the grips a little bit. I did some close together grips and then some far apart. Uh, so like one targets the chest more and the other the shoulders. And yeah, I went on quite a long bike ride, got a little bit of sun. It's pretty cloudy today. And yeah, power's still out. So I had to walk up, up and down four flights of stairs, which is all good. Uh, had a coconut water and yeah, I'm about to get into this, this pineapple. And I'm actually glad I downloaded Tina's book, Fit Shorty's book. So here's my pineapple, about to eat this. Um, she made this book called Follow Your Highest Excitement. And I'm like four chapters in and it's absolutely amazing. Highly recommend to anybody who wants to get out of self-limiting mindsets. And she also talks a bit about uh, her battle with bulimia and, uh, you know, traveling. Like we both did like pretty much the same thing. You know, we just, um, everyone thought we were crazy and we just booked a one-way ticket to Bali. We both booked a one-way ticket to Bali. Uh, and it just opened the door to so many things in our lives um, just by following your highest excitement, which is what it's about. It's really cool. Um, so... Yeah, definitely check that out uh, at Fit Shorty on Instagram, and you can get it on there. And I'm just, I'm just loving it so far. She's, she's such a great storyteller. Yeah, I'm gonna get one of the nice time. things about there being no electricity is there's no construction crew this morning. I even noticed that when I went out, like I was gonna get some sugar cane juice because I was getting kind of hot and sweaty. But um, yeah, then I realized like. Oh, you need electricity for the, the sugar cane press. And none of the places had electricity, except for like a couple of the, the bigger hotels, I guess. They had generators. But like, that's not very common around here. Like people just, you know, they just deal with it. It doesn't happen too often, but when it happens, it's usually for a good portion of the day. I'm not sure what time it went out. I woke up about 5.30 and um, it was out. So, could have been sometime last night. Hopefully it gets fixed soon. I'm supposed to meet my friend Dennis today. Um, Really cool uh, guy I met in Borneo. He bought us all durians. Very cool. He bought like, I don't know, like 15 durians. There was like 10 of us. And we just feasted on like amazing durians. Really cool guy. He's an entrepreneur. He's been traveling around Vietnam. You can check him out. Dennis, oh, I forget his last name. It's Russian. D-E-N-Y-S. And you can probably find him. He's like a... Um, I believe he's been fruitarian for five years. Four or five years. And he only eats fruit. 100%. The guy looks really good, too. But check him out. I saw like three different varieties of pineapples. And I got this one. I'm glad I did. Anyways. Another thing. When you're traveling in Asia. <laughs> especially in Southeast Asia. Indonesia. Um, there was a lot more power outages. 
Thailand, it happened a lot. Not a lot, but, you know, during the, the monsoon season, you know, there's a lot of wind. So things get knocked over, trees knocking electric lines, stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, Vietnam, it, it hasn't happened, like, much at all. So uh, just be prepared for that. I like to have uh, YouTube videos downloaded. I like to have books on PDF. Like, I'm glad I got that book from Tina. I'm actually going to read more of that uh, once I finish this. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get on with my day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are staying safe, staying healthy. And I'll see you soon. Just did another little bike ride around. Uh, got myself a dragon fruit and just went biking around the beach here. Um, it's pretty cloudy, so I can stay out for like a long time, which is very nice. And um, yeah, I met this lady, Orchid, that came out to me, this old, older Vietnamese lady. Um, she was chewing a beetle nut, um, which if you guys aren't familiar, I, I think it has like drug-like opiate properties or something. It's some sort of nut and they wrap it in this leaf she showed me. And she's like, it's very bad, don't ever do it. I was like, okay. Um, she said like, uh, when, I, when I talk to you and I chew the beetle nut, it makes it very hard to speak English. I'm like, okay. So I guess she like, um, she cycled. She saw me cause I was on the bicycle and she was like, um, she's like, oh, I love cycling. I was cycled from here to Dalat which is like in the north and people paid her uh, money to go cycle. And she has family that lives in Washington state, supposedly. And cause I'm like, oh, I'm from Washington state. She's like, oh, I have family that lives in Washington state. I'm like, oh, okay, really? It's kind of trippy. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I talked to her for a while. <laughs> it, was, it was kind of fun, but I'm gonna dig into this. This is a white dragon fruit. Let's see. Got my knife here. Got my spoon. I'm good to go. The power is still out at home, so I'm like, make the best of it. Let's see how this is. This one's pretty soft. Oh yeah, that looks good. Hmm. Super sweet. Very good. Yeah, not having that um, sugar cane juice is killing me. I had a really good coconut, but man, I've just been on the sugar cane. Like, I'm, I'd actually choose sugar cane over coconuts. Like, I've never thought I'd say that. But um, yeah, that's how I'm feeling lately. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit here enjoy some kids playing with paper kites over there I'll show you and here we are there's the water and there's the cloudy skies okay how about guys now I'm just munching on a bit of jackfruit I saw this and I was biking around town and it looks so good. Mm. Very sweet. Kind of juicy too. Oh yeah, it was really good quality. Yeah, so much cycling today. And that dragon fruit didn't really fill me up. It's been like 30 minutes. But man, I'm so glad I got this jackfruit. And that's going to be it for today's video, you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace and love. <laughs> Who needs electricity anyways? The ocean. That's the real electricity. You. You are electricity.